Hello. After playing both the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, I've come to this conclusion. The Super Nintendo is a little better than the Sega Genesis. Not better by leaps and bounds, but it is a little better. But I'll tell you one thing that sucked about the Super Nintendo. There were no Road Rash games for it. They made three Road Rash games for the Sega Genesis, and I bought my first Road Rash game 28 years ago today on August the 7th, 1993. The first one that I bought was Road Rash 2, and I loved it. The only thing was, was for a couple of months, I had to play Road Rash 2 on a black and white TV because my color TV uh, kicked the bucket in June of 1993. Okay, two years later, I bought Road Rash 3, and then in 1996, I bought the original Road Rash. Now, one thing that's better about the original Road Rash is that you can qualify by getting fourth place or better, whereas Road Rash 2 and Road Rash 3, to qualify, you have to get at least third place. And Road Rash 3 is the best of the three. Uh, on Road Rash 1, you only have... Uh, one weapon, a club. On Road Rash 2, you have two weapons, a club and a chain, and you can get several different weapons on Road Rash 3. And unlike, unlike Road Rash and Road Rash 2 on Road Rash 3, uh, you can upgrade and put better engines in your bikes instead of just having to buy another bike. Now they made road rash for several things the genesis uh the n64 the ps1 i even hear that they made it for the game boy color now i'd say my favorite road rash game might be the one for the 3do but my favorite for the Sega Genesis is Road Rash 2. That's probably because it's the very first one that I bought. Road Rash 3 is clearly the superior game. Now, on Road Rash games, uh, each uh, level has five races. And when you beat all five levels... Uh, you win the game. But believe me when I tell you, Road Rash games are very good. Unrealistic, but very good. Let me tell you, I was playing Road Rash for the N64, and I was driving down the highway, going 150 miles per hour, and I hit a tractor and trailer head on. Well, it showed me get up off the ground and get back on my bike. Now, that's about as unrealistic as you can get. But even though they're unrealistic, they are still very good. And if you have a Sega Genesis but no Road Rash games, get the Road Rash games. You can't buy them in stores anymore, but you can find them on eBay. Anyways, this has been my video. Thanks for watching.